the big the bigger triangle is between what is this splenocleidal mastoid splenocleidal mastoid and clavicle especially middle part of clavicle and anterior border of trapezius right so this big triangle this is called posterior triangle of the neck what is it called posterior, posterior triangle, triangle of the neck. neck and this is all posterior triangle of the neck sternocleidal mastoid what is this trapezius. trapezius right yes just name it sternocleidal mastoid and what is here it has two att attachments here one for the sternum another for the clavicular head and manubrial head or sternal head and here what was this trapezius trapezius right and here is your clavicle. clavicle now this triangle a big one this is called what is it called posterior, posterior triangle. triangle but here was your omohyoid Omohyoid inferior belly was crossing over here. The naughty omohyoid is dividing the posterior triangle of the neck into two, two triangles. triangles, which is upper triangle, right? And this upper triangle is called occipital occipital triangle and this lower triangle this is our what subclavian triangle. triangle and here was in the floor of this there was an opening between what scalenus anterior and scalenus medius. medius and this opening what is coming out trunks of the brachial trunks of the brachial plexus is that right now, if someone asks you that subclavian triangle, where it is present, there are so many ways to explain. One way is just to say that first of all, we must know what is posterior triangle of the neck. Because subclavian triangle is a sub triangle or smaller triangle present within the posterior triangle of the neck. So first we should know what is posterior triangle of the neck. Posterior triangle of the neck is sternocleidal mastoid, cleidomastoid, and trapezius and clavicle. So this is this big triangle is posterior triangle. Then omohyoid is crossing it from sternocleidal mastoid. Inferior belly of the omohyoid is going towards trapezius. Eventually it attaches to the scapula here. Now. When this crosses obliquely, the main triangle, which is posterior triangle of the neck, is divided into upper triangle and lower triangle. The superior triangle is called occipital, occipital triangle, triangle, which we are not going to discuss today. Right? And lower triangle, we are going to discuss in detail because that is related with brachial plexus. And this lower triangle is basically, yes, subclavian, subclavian triangle. triangle. Now, 